Hey everyone, today we're going to be sharing some fun and engaging activities that you can do with your students that are STEM STEAM related. Some projects you've probably have seen before or maybe some that you haven't, but I do have a lot to share, so let's dive right into what I have with me today. The first project that I'm going to be showing you is most of you are familiar with is the bristle bot. If you don't know what it is, essentially you're creating a small circuit with a motor on top of a toothbrush head. The vibrations from the motor travel down into the bristles and it moves around like it has a mind of its own. It's a really neat project for students to see and easy to build. First, take double-sided tape and place it on top of the toothbrush head. You can experiment with where to place the motor if you wish, just make sure that the head can freely rotate. Then, take one of the wires from the motor and stick it down into the tape. Next, you're going to place your battery on top of the wire. Once you place the other wire on top of it, this will complete the circuit. Most people put on googly eyes or other fun things on the bristle bot, but you can take it a step further and add pipe cleaners, also known as Chanel stems, to the bristle bot to give it more stability. Perhaps you can even try to get the bristle bot to move in a straight line. And that could be one of your challenges for students. All right, moving on to our next set of projects, we're gonna be using a small and flat vibration motor. Uh, so not only can you make objects move from vibrations, but you can also create some arts and crafts projects um, that move as well. So with me, I have several different projects that you I've created some chatter teeth, I have a little room bot, and I also have a movie Dixie cup. Uh, each one of these projects are simple circuit with conductive tape, a vibration motor, and a button battery. Here's an example of circuit I used. So if you look here, in this circuit, I have an LED on the top to kind of make it more visual for you, but there's conductive tape, there's the battery, and then there's also the motor. Um, if you're not familiar with conductive tape, it's conductive on both sides, and it's made out of nylon, which is more durable and user-friendly in the classroom. So you can use the same idea for any other paper projects that you have here um, and to kind of create any kind of other things that you want. You just want to make sure that the paper isn't too thick or flimsy um, and then it's not using something like notebook paper. We usually recommend 30 to 50 pound cardstock as the ideal weight. And if you're curious about directions on how to make these things, you can click on these templates and also the product links in the video description. Be sure to check those out. So the next set of projects are a little bit simpler. Instead of using motors in your circuit, you can use LEDs to create fun light up art projects. Let me show some examples of some of the greeting cards you can create. These cards can be holiday related, personalized for someone, or you can create a piece of art with LEDs that students want to make more appealing. You can even use this concept with wearable felt bracelets or build other neat projects. Alternatively, you can use a different power source like solar panels. Using solar panels, you can create small boats out of recycled materials. You can even create little solar bugs that vibrate and move. This provides experiments and education around energy, which is a great conversation starter about sustainability and bigger ideas revolving around resources, renewable and non-renewable. Speaking of renewable resources, you can even create engaging projects out of cardboard. We sell kits that have templates and perforated pieces of cardboard, but you can certainly find recycled boxes from the mail or from school supplies that are dropped off. You can even check with your maintenance staff. Just remember, there's a lot of great ideas that you can create, whether you're making a catapult, whether you're creating a flying automata, or even a simple machine. All right, the last project I'll be showing you is called the LED name badge, but it certainly can be used for other applications as well. For example, when you talk about art and design, things that occupy space are called positive space. These things can be letters, pictures, words, etc. And negative space are things that don't occupy space. To give you a better idea of what I'm talking about, these images right here are both using negative space to get you to focus on the shapes. They both use white as a negative space, but they are very contrasting images. And the same th idea is applied to the project I've created as well. On the name badge, what we have here, uh, the, the positive space is the etched letters and the negative space is the acrylic. Let me kind of show you how to make this project. What you're going to need is a piece of acrylic, a button battery, an LED, safety pin. 
Um, and then if you want, you can use a dry erase marker. It just makes it easier to make your design or your name. So what I'm gonna do here is really quickly show you how to make this project. Notice I created a short name. And then what you're gonna do is you're going to take your safety pin and then start to begin to etch out those letters. And you wanna make sure you're making deep cuts because then you're going to be able to easier, um, make an easier illumination to see. It just gotta be deep enough to get those edges. And then the next step you're gonna do is you're gonna take your button battery. Now your LED has two sides, a positive and a negative. You gotta make sure it matches up first correctly. If it doesn't, doesn't work, you just flip it the opposite way. And you line it in there in that little piece that we have etched out. And then you're gonna take your little stickers, or something to attach that to. Have your final design. And so that's the name, but then you can also make something else too. So you can create this acrylic piece with a CNC machine or a laser cutter. You can also try experimenting with other objects that are transparent. The bottom line is recycled materials, simple motors and buzzers and other simple materials can be combined to create a lot of cool projects while learning about science, technology, engineering, art and math. Feel free to share with us what kind of cool activities you like to do. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed learning about some of these fun projects. If you enjoyed this video, you can find dozens of other educational videos and webinars in the NASCO Education Teacher Resource Center.